Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the Matatag Curriculum. Let me share with you the main features of the Matatag Curriculum, the results of the multi-year, multi-stakeholder recalibration of this very important document. The main features of the Matatag Curriculum are, number one, a focus on foundational skills such as literacy and numeracy skills, especially in K-3. The congested curriculum, which significantly reduced the number of learning competencies. Balanced cognitive demand. As the grade level progresses, there is a shift from the focus on the low levels to higher order thinking skills. Clearer articulation of 21st century skills. We emphasize 21st century skills such as information, media and technology skills, learning and innovation skills, communication skills, and life and career skills. And we reduce the learning areas in key stage one for grades one to three. We have also intensified values education and strengthened peace education. And lastly, we made sure that our curriculum is on a par with international standards. Our major concern was the congestion of the curriculum, which necessitated streamlining its intent and content. As seen on this slide, the Matatag curriculum for grade 1 has shifted from offering seven learning areas to only five that focus on strengthening literacy and numeracy. New learning areas, language, reading and literacy, and makabansa are introduced. These learning areas have been deliberately crafted rather than simply merging or integrating the existing learning area. The creation of a language curriculum gives more emphasis to the development of oral language skills for communication in the language that the learners understand, which is essential in developing foundational skills for literacy and learning other content areas. Reading and literacy equips learners with a strong foundation in reading skill, comprehension, and critical thinking, and concurrently foster a love for reading and helps learners develop the necessary skills to become confident and proficient readers. Mathematics remains to be a significant part of the Matatag curriculum. Our goal is to move beyond rote learning and make mathematics an engaging and enriching learning area for our learners as early as grade 1. We also introduced a new learning area called Makabansa that seamlessly weaves vital content and skills from civics, arts and culture, history, and physical education and health. Layunin ng makabansa na maikintal sa murang kaisipan ng mga mag-aaral ang malalim na pag-unawa sa sarili at kolektibong pagkakakilanlan bilang isang Pilipino na nakaugat sa kanyang pagiging bahagi ng komunidad, bayan, lungsod, lalawigan, at maging rehiyon. Bayayabungin ng araling panlipunan sa mga susunod na baitang ang nasyonalismo, patriotismo, at kagalingang pansibiko bilang isang Pilipino, Asyano, at mamamayan ng daigdi. Finally, the fifth curriculum content we streamlined is GMRC, or Good Manners and Right Conduct, which we believe needs more emphasis in a world that is increasingly without borders, where we need to teach learners how to respectfully engage various relational dynamics and be inclusive citizens of their communities and the world. I will speak about this GMRC later. In sum, we reduced the learning areas in the lower years with only five for grade one and grade two and six for for grade 3. Ang makabansa ay naglalayong makahubog ng isang aktibong mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng paglinang ng mahahalagang kasanayang nagpapamalas ng pagkakakilanlan, pagkamalikhain, pagkamaluso, at pakikipag-ugnayan sa kapwa at isa sa iba pang aspekto ng lipunan. Tungo sa pagiging holistikong Pilipinong taglay ang ikadalawa po isang siglong kasanayan. Layunin din itong mapaunlad ng mga mag-aaral ang pag-unawa sa sarili at kultural na kamalayan, kasanayan, upang maging malusok sog at malikhain at may kakayahang makipag-ugnayan sa kapwa at pamayanan. Sa murang isipan pa lamang ng mga bata ay nakikintal na sa kanila na alamin ang Pilipina at sa mga susunod na baitang maipamula na mahalin ito at pagsilbihan ito. Know the Philippine, love the Philippine, serve the Philippine is heavily inculcated in makabansa and araling panlipunan learning area and widens their understanding as they tackle Southeast Asia context and global dynamics and processes. We decongested the curriculum by 70%, which supports our focus on the essential skills of literacy and numeracy. The act of decongesting our curriculum, reducing overcrowding, and focusing on the essential elements of learning has profound implications for our learners' educational experiences. First, this approach now provides learners with the time that they need to truly understand and assimilate the foundational elements of learning, rather than simply 
dabbling in a vast array of topics. Second, a less crowded curriculum allows learners to focus more intently on each learning area, leading to a deeper comprehension and retention of knowledge. Ultimately, the net effect of these transformation is a more targeted, effective, and meaningful learning experience. Ang lahat ng mga nabanggit ay tumutukoy sa ating makabagong kurikulum na napapanahon. We ensure that all components under each 21st century skill are clearly defined with specific examples that manifest in various learning areas. We recognize the importance of reinforcing the 21st century skills of our Filipino learners, aiming to equip them beyond just the traditional learning domain. The focus is on developing competencies that are vital in today's digital and global world. This This include digital literacy, critical thinking and problem solving, future orientation and thinking, and resilience and adversity management. By strengthening these key areas, the Matatag curriculum ensures that our learners are not only knowledgeable but also adaptable, forward thinking, resilient, and well equipped. For the 21st century. Values education is now intensified to ensure that we inculcate the right values across all levels from kindergarten to grade 10. We have done this by introducing good manners and right conduct in kindergarten to grade 6 and values education in grade 7 to 10. This is also in keeping with the GMRC and values education law. The focus here is on nurturing the learner's essential socio-emotional skills such as empathy and resilience, contributing to their emotional well-being and interpersonal relationships and ultimately building a strong character o ang tapang humara anumang hamon. This fosters social responsibility and encourages active community participation. Ang pagsasabuhay ng pagmamahal sa Diyos, sarili, pamilya at kapwa, kalikasan, bansa at daigdi. Tungo sa kabutihang panlahat ay itunuturo dito sapagka ang tunguhin ng asignaturang ito ay makapaghubog ng kabataang Filipino na nagpapasya ng may mapanagunut, mapanagutan kumikilos ng may wastong pag-uugali at pagkiling sa kabutihan. Ang malinaw na artikulasyon ng 21st century skills at ang pagpapaigting ng values education ang makapag-aangat ng talinong mula sa isip at puso. In the curriculum, basic peace concepts such as self-awareness, community engagement, rights and responsibility, community resilience, human security, disaster risk reduction and mitigation, and peace security, among others, are systematically integrated in various various learning areas across grade level. In addition, concepts such as culture and intercultural relations, environmental stewardship, and local, national, and global systems and processes which are found in Makabansa, Araling Panlipunan, GMRC, Values Education, Science, and even MAPE, Advanced Peace Education in the curriculum. These are articulated not only in cognitive dimensions, but more importantly in socio-economic aspects and behavioral terms which ensure holistic development among Filipino learners. Sa pangkabuuan, nilalayon ng edukasyong pangkapayapaan na mapaunlad sa mga Pilipinong mag-aaral ang kakayahang makipamuhay ng mapayapa, hindi lamang sa kapwa Pilipino, kundi maging sa ibang mamamayan ng daigdi. Haligi ito ng ugnayan, kooperasyon, at kaunlarang pandaigdi. These are the features of the matatag curriculum. Mga katangiang makapag-aanga ng galing ng Pinoy. But we know, and even according to Yusek Gina, that the curriculum will remain a piece of paper unless enlivened in the classroom and unless systems are in place to make it work. Thus, our job does not end with the launch of the curriculum. True to our commitment to the matatag basic education agenda, the department is charting a definite course of action to realize our our aspiration for the Filipino learners as embodied in the Matatag curriculum. And so, even as we launch this curriculum, we have started preparing for its eventual phased implementation. And these are some concrete steps we are doing. We will have the pilot implementation of the curriculum this school year. We will capacitate our supervisors, school heads, and key officials also this year. And by the first quarter of next year, we will train our teachers. The learning resources are being prepared and we have made initial discussions with publishing companies and the National Book Development Board. We will also not stop with the K-10 curriculum. In fact, we have started the review of the senior high school curriculum and we intend to finish it by the end of next year. We will amplify stakeholder support because we know that this is a curriculum for all. All these are being done in order to ensure that this curriculum will be implemented seamlessly, taking into heart the lessons learned for the, from the experience of implementing the K-12 
of program in 2013. Finally, we will have the phased implementation of the Matatag curriculum. In school year 2024-2025, we will start with kindergarten, grades 1, 4, and 7. In 2025-2026, grades 2, 5, and 8. In 2026-2027, grades 3, 6, and 9. And finally, in 2027-2028, grade 10. This means that by 2028, we will have fully implemented the Matatag curriculum for kindergarten to grade 10 of the K-12 to program. We need to do all this because we want to see a world that opens its arms to embrace the uniqueness, the talents, and skills of every Filipino child. That is our aspiration. To see every child's eyes sparkle with hope, to hear their laughter ring with joy, and experience a world filled with endless possibility. In this vision, no child is left behind. We want every Filipino child to be prepared with strong literacy and numeracy foundation, equipped with meaningful 21st century skills that will help him or her navigate this ever-changing world. Nationalistic and global, maintaining the Filipino identity while actively participating as part of a larger community and ready to succeed in life, whether to find job right after senior high school or to seek higher level education in whatever field the child dreams of. This is our aspiration for our learners. This is our collective mission. Palasak na, subalit, totoo pa rin ang kasabihan na ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. At ang pag-asang yan ay nakaugat sa kalidad ng edukasyon na kanyang pundasyon. We can do no less than to give them that a fighting chance of a decent future. Edukasyong matatag para sa bagong henerasyon. Para sa isang matatag na Pilipina. Bansang makabata, batang makabansa. Maraming salamat.